Hey, what's up everyone? As you can probably already tell by the background of this video, Paranormal Storytime. This is going to be a paranormal documentation video. Now it's regarding something that happened to my mama, and she shared this story with me several times before. Now this occurrence happened before I was ever born, I believe. I'll have to ask her again. But she shared this story again a few days ago while we were driving down that very road she was talking about. And we frequently pass by, pass down that, go down that road. It's a road that you have to go through to get to town. It's, it's the main road, the main highway. And uh, she talked about an experience that she had many years ago. And she stated she was driving down that road, back toward, she was heading north, back toward where we used to live. Actually, where they used to live, but it's also where I used to live with them as well, until we moved over here when I got older. Actually, not when I got older, it was actually after I was born. I was four when we moved here, and then they, uh, they lived up in that holler then. We all did. So, this experience, she said she'll never forget it. It was a supernatural, ghostly, paranormal experience. It was a white horse. And she said as she was driving north, down that road, in the middle of the night, she stated all of a sudden, from the side of her eye, she could see this large, white horse galloping right beside her she said it was running right along beside her she said she could hear it neighing she could hear the the she could hear it and she could see it and feel it and she said that she tried to speed up and and go faster than this ghost horse and she said it freaked her out, and then all of a sudden she said it took a turn and started coming right for her. And she said it just dove toward that toward the vehicle she was in, and it just flew into the vehicle. She said it just ran. She said she turned and and uh, put her hand up like she just turned and just turned her head to the window and uh, just knew it was going to, she said she just knew it was going to collide right into the vehicle. She said she felt it go right through her. She felt the presence of that horse. She felt it galloping and felt it. Felt it like it was going to hit her. She could feel its presence so strong of that white horse. And she said it just disappeared as it jumped toward her as it went right into her. It should have went right into the vehicle. Crashed right into the vehicle. And that was an experience she had many, many years ago that she has told to me a few times regarding that ghost or spirit horse that she experienced. And she, she said it still gives her chills to talk about it today because it was, she said it, it was something that you never forget and she said at the time she had just she was bringing granny back to the house her mama and it was my granny and granny was asleep in the passenger side of the vehicle and she didn't witness the horse but it was it came right toward them I have witnessed many things before as well apparitions and things my mama also had an experience of some sort of a strange craft with blue, red, red, blue, and green lights. I think she said it was. I'll have to look it back. Look, I'll, I'll have to look it back up. I'll have to ask her again and uh, look up the video I made about it. And she said they were just hovering in the sky in the shape of a triangle. And this was before I was born as well. And she stated that it's like they knew she knew they were there, that they were both aware of each other. And so she said she got creeped out and she headed right to the house. She drove right back to the house as quickly as she could. And they were just watching those crafts. 
and years later the horse situation where the horse was trotting right beside her and then took a turn and trotted right toward her and she could feel it hit the vehicle just feel it go right into her and just disappeared and that ghost horse or spirit horse vanished but she could still feel it as if it had hit them and she said she'll never forget those experiences especially that one she'll never forget it and it's just something that something that she'll never forget so anyway we went out to eat today and uh, finances aren't the best but we still decided we're gonna go out to eat we're gonna try to have a good evening and I didn't feel too well mama didn't either later she didn't feel too well either later she had to come back home and now she had to get some rest but we didn't get to do anything or go anywhere to anything because like I said finances are not great but we did get to enjoy the evening and I got several uh, I got several videos of the clouds and pictures of the clouds and the sky and stuff and I just we just watched the sky a bit which was enjoyable the beautiful formations and just south of us they had several power outages because of the uh, several thousand power outages because of the storms they that's what they blamed it on but they said they never really could discern what caused it but they assumed the storms did there was a lot of cloud to ground lightning and lightning streaking across the sky and all of a sudden a downburst of rain and there were there was reportedly like four inches of rain in just just a few minutes and uh, we were in the restaurant eating at that time though but you could hear it and see it on the outside and outside the window but it was it was good that we got to eat we did get to eat and uh, we did enjoy the evening after I felt a little bit better then she started feeling bad and uh, thankfully we got back home safely and uh, I don't know what will happen tomorrow or this weekend but I pray for a good calm happy peaceful weekend and happy birthday and all that I pray for a good day so we can enjoy the day peacefully and feel well that we can feel well but that's what happened that was her experience that she'll never ever forget anyway if you'd like to uh, leave a donation or a birthday donation even that's appreciated as well um, the kind thoughts that were sent to me, the kind words, I greatly appreciate. If you'd like to leave a message by email and talk personally with your own supernatural paranormal or ME experiences, you can do that as well, because that's what I have the email on this channel for. And I'll get back as soon as I possibly can. I check it very uh, every so often so that I can get back to anyone uh, who's emailing. No one's emailed in a while. But whenever you do, I do try to respond as quickly as I possibly can. And as far as YouTube messing with the comment section and not letting me respond, I don't know what to do about that. When they start messing with things, there's not much I can do. But I try as, as much as possible to respond and greatly appreciate all the love and all the support. This has been the Paranormal Storytime experience that my mama's, well, experiences, two of them that my mama had. Sweet. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, blah, blah, sorry. I appreciate the sweetness and the kindness. I appreciate it all, and uh, peace and much love to everyone. Signing out. Links are below. I love you all.